Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Matt. On today's episode, I'm pleased to be drinking another Isle of Sky edition. This is a 30-year-old blended Scotch whiskey. Don't you forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Matt, you want to tell me some more about this I beautiful do. bottle? Look at this beauty. Look at that bottle. Wow. That is a beautiful bottle. It's got beautiful 30-year Isle of course, it's again a blended Scotch. Look at this cool freaking box. Now, this is a monstrosity. I mean, it's got the mountains, like you don't put the mountains on there. I mean, this is a this is like Middleton quality box. Like this is a really, really they did they spent some money on this. They did a good job. Like I like that. They've got the kind of hard to see, but yeah, you can see they got the different islands on here, and they got some different waterways. I mean, they spent some money. It looks it's beautiful. I really like it. A cool little thing in the back there, so it's very cool. So yeah, so it's a beautiful presentation, so you can't go wrong with that. Once again, it is 40%. It is made up of the Islands, Highlands of Space Island grain whiskey. So basically, take all the cool stuff we had in the last one and put them together for 30 years. And it's this one is ex-bourbon and ex-sherry on this one. Whereas the other one, I think, was just bourbon. So this, and then the color on that is spectacular. <laughs> so uh, we're very interested to see how uh, 30 years on, with the, of course, Talisker being your base on this one as well. And is this again the forty percenter? All forty percent. Their whole range oh, is forty percent. Yeah, that's okay. The sherry is popping out of this puppy. Wow! And it's it's apples and yeah, it really fruit. is. Yeah, a lot of toast. Wow, the red out. apple is just so prominent. That's usually such a bourbon note for me. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, toasted coconut, little citrus, chocolate shavings, oak, plum. Go to that red I'm apple, honey, raspberry. Pie. I'm getting raspberry, blackberry, black currant, Ooh, black yeah. cherry, all the berries, yeah, raisins. Yeah, it's, this is like really, it's like all the dark berries and apple for some reason. It's just super interesting. Oh man, dried peaches, yeah, see that for sure, like the ones you get in trail mix. Yes, Matt. Yes, that's exactly what my nose picked up on. It was that kind of that, that sugar coating. Yeah. A little almond, a little mm -hmm. walnuts, even chestnuts. Oh, this is super interesting. There's some fun floral components coming in now. Mm -hmm. like I'm getting a purple flower. I'm also getting like this orange, those, uh, those orange sugary candies. Ooh. Yeah, my mind went to orange push pop. Oh, that's there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My kid well, had a, push pops, orange, yeah. Orange server push pops the other day, and that's just yeah. Okay. You know what it is? It's like uh like orange blossoms, the flowers. Yeah. Man, this thing's just all over the place. As it should be at 30 years old. I could even get behind a honeysuckle as well. Yeah, for sure. You know, like it's a little sweet, bit of lavender. But it's not densely sweet. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, now it's got this. Now the peat's finally starting to show up. Is it for you? I still haven't found it. Just barely, like a little wisp of smoke. Okay. Yeah, it took a while, but it's finally showing up. All right, now so I'm getting the mushroom fungal, the earthy, running through a forest, and yeah, it's like a little wood incense. Oh, okay, there we go. Barely burning. Now I'm getting. Now I'm getting Catholic Church. Yeah. Yes, just wisps in the background. Yeah, like wisps when the priest is going around shaking it. Yes, it's that frankincense and myrrh. Yeah. That's a really great nose. It's really beautiful. It smells delicious. I'm I'm thrilled. All right, let's see what we think. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, definitely more peat once again on the palate. Absolutely. Now cherry with all the berries. Mm -hmm. and apple. Chocolate. I would say that the apple oh, note yeah. does get turned down a bit compared to the nose. The nose to me yeah. was screaming red apple. Red delicious. And just, just screaming it. Um, I agree with you. The cherry note, it's almost a burnt. Yeah. Interesting to change over. To cherry that. pie. Yeah. Like a fluffy croissant roll now the butter in it oh mm, a little cream 
I'm not gonna. Coffee. I'm not gonna lie. On the first sip, it is not as dense as I was hoping it was going to be based mm-hmm. on the nose. I'm gonna go in for a second sip, but I just want to kind of put that out there. It was not as dense as I was really hoping for. <clears throat> it's almost that McAllen letdown on that first sip. Mm. Unfortunately, it's that forty percent thing. Mm. It's still really good, but yeah, I wish it was like 43. Mm. A little more viscosity would do it good. When you give it a good chew, it does show up a little bit denser. But to me, it doesn't have all of the layers that I really wanted it to have at 30 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We tasted an eight-year of Isle of Sky uh, recently as well. And that one had almost as much complexity going on. Mm-hmm as this now the nose on this is 10 times 20 times maybe even 30 times better Uh, but the palette to me is just not as complex as i really want it to be Mm -hmm. what's my price point on this one 270 okay for 30 years yeah it's still very reasonable okay is that is that current msrp or is that what Mm -hmm. you think yeah yeah okay I'm not. I'm not sad about a thirty. No, I mean you got thirty year, great stuff in here. I mean, yeah, I got no complaints. I think it tastes. It's got. I wish the proof was a little bit higher. Other than that, it's a great whiskey. And this, you know, as these things open up over time, will get better as well. Yeah. So this is. This is like the best Macallan I've ever had. Does that, does that make any sense? Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to say rude things. I'm not trying to be mean or anything. Like, but like to me, this is exactly like what a McAllen is. The nose is just absolutely spectacular. It feels like you could just live in that thing for months, if not years. Mm-hmm. And then the palate's just kind of a letdown. This is a, still a really good letdown. Yeah, it's yeah, a letdown in comparison to the nose. The good news is that at least this one's at that price. Where if you do a thirty minute here account, it's like four grand. <laughs> Oh, so, uh, no flipping kidding, right? Like, that's why I'm saying it's the best McAllen ever. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Who knows if there are any in here that could be. It's certainly possible to have blended some of that in here. Who knows? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah. I like it. It's good. I think it did a good job. Like I said, I'd be interested to see when, you, when we do the other reviews, the other uh, part of this line. So there's four or five others we'll do from nice. them. So, but yeah, they're doing a good job, Mom. Fun stuff from these guys. I think we should uh, try to see if we can get them to come on the show. I think it would be entertaining to uh, talk to these people. So. I love it, man. Uh, I think it's beautiful stuff. Uh, as with most older whiskeys, the peat does dissipate quite a bit more than yeah. my palate wants. But, you know, that's just what happens. So, you know, what yeah. are you going to do, right? Try. All right. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Click that notification bell. We go Monday night deep diving into a whiskey topic. And if you so choose, come join the Patreon page for more behind-the-scenes fun. And until next time, keep on crusading for the whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Mm. It's good. Very good. Very good.